of all of the things that I am going to miss about Florida, um, our gym situation isn't exactly one of them. I mean, it is nice. It's convenient, right? And I'm not talking about having like a community gym because I definitely do enjoy those. Uh, the last couple of apartment communities we've lived in have had those and those have been what Serena and I chose to use. But this this one is perhaps a little lacking. <laughs> um, for starters, the dumbbell set, like people keep stealing them or something. I don't know. Um, ordinarily, the maximum weights that were there were 50 pound dumbbells and that's already not very heavy. Uh, I, I would like those to, to double, really. You try and get into the three digits for dumbbells, but yeah, they cap at 50 and whatever, that's fine. You can you can improvise, right? You can, you can do more reps, more sets and make it work out. But someone took one of the two 50 pound dumbbells. I don't, it's just gone. I don't know how you escape with something like that. And then, so you're like, okay, well, let's work our way. Let's just do 45s, I guess. We're already, you know, going a little bit too light with the 50s, 45s, same thing. So we have a 45 and a 50, and those are like our max capacity dumbbells. So uh, for some of my heavier lifts, that's what I have to do. <laughs> I have to have one arm with a 45, the other arm with a 50, and then I just alternate so that, you know, that things stay equal. It's a little bit inconvenient, to be honest with you, but at least we have a gym. I know that I shouldn't complain because there are many apartment communities that do not offer that sort of amenity. And the good people running this one are doing the best they can. They can't control whether or not people steal things, right? There are cameras there. There's only so much they can do. So I don't fault them. I just look forward to uh, getting back to Colorado and having a, uh, a proper gym experience. It's been a long time since I've been able to do like an actual a squat or a deadlift or a bench press, anything with like an actual bar, since at this gym everything is either cables or dumbbells. And I like to maintain a very balanced sort of exercise routine. Uh, I've just, I don't know. I, I used to be a personal trainer in my early twenties. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but that was actually my, my first job in and out of college. And, uh, I, ever since then, I've always just really, really championed the, uh, what do I, the, the diversification of your fitness routine, right? Because a lot of people will just do like a bunch of heavy weights. A lot of people just do a bunch of cardio. A lot of people just do a bunch of stretching. A lot of people do a bunch of like cables and stuff like that. And I think that you need to, uh, sort of supplement your routine with all of those with a good diet too of course really that's more important than anything but as far as like physical fitness and your ability to like be flexible and do all the things for as long as possible because that's my goal i want to be able to still run and jump and essentially be a giant man child upwards into my you know 50s and 60s if at all possible so i can still you know run for miles i can still lift pretty heavy weight i can still touch my toes so as long as we're doing that we're okay we're moving forward. And speaking of, of food, I am having a pretty solid lunch. I'm having some egg drop soup, more like egg drop gravy. I put a little bit too much cornstarch. Either which way, I'm having it over a bed of rice. So hitting, hitting three of the major food groups there, the fats, the carbohydrates, and the proteins. And I am very freaking hungry because I have not eaten yet today. So I am going to devour this. Many, many, many hours later, I have had the same meal. Again, <laughs> oh, every part of a balanced meal is protein, fat, and carbohydrates, apparently. No vegetables, not today. So perhaps it wasn't as healthy as a day as it could have been. But like I mentioned, we are trying to eat through all of the things that we have, or at least as much of them as possible. So eating through stuff like the chicken stock and the cornstarch and the eggs, probably a good call. Uh, also, in the name of, of health, right, we're talking about eating good, trying to exercise in a relatively diverse way. Also good for the old health caboodle is sleeping, getting a good full night of rest. And it's about 9.30, and I'm actually going to head off to bed now. It's the earliest I've gone to bed in a long time, but I think that early to bed, early to rise... It's going to be exactly what jiggles my thighs. Whatever the saying is, either which way, it's going to do good things for me because I uh, got, got a lot to do still. Holy cow, you see these boxes? They are accumulating. There's more upstairs, and there's still yet more things to pack. So, got to get all that situated and uh, maybe do some of that in the morning tomorrow. I guess we'll see. Either way, if you get up early, you can work early, finish work early. You can work on other things early. So, 
in the spirit of early, I'm going to go to bed early. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoyed yourself. And I hope that you also, you know, get some good exercise and healthy food and adequate rest. And I hope I see you tomorrow.